what I see. At the start of the movie, a man is shown dragging a girl's lifeless body on the road. The scene then transitions to Rocky, Alex, and Money, free Detroit delinquents, who sustain themselves by breaking into houses and stealing valuables. Rocky longs to move to California with her younger sister Diddy and escape from their abusive mother and her alcoholic boyfriend. She also asks Alex to go with them, but he refuses because of his dad, who owns a security company. When Money sells goods to his fence Raul, he gives him very little money in return and suggests that if they want money, then they should steal money. Money gets a tip from Raul, and he informs his friends about Gulf War veteran Norman Nordstrom, who supposedly has 300 grand in cash in his abandoned house. The money is part of a settlement after Cindy Roberts, a wealthy young woman, killed Norman's daughter in a car accident. Alex is hesitant about stealing the cash since it could implicate his father in a police investigation, given that the house falls under his dad's security company. Later. Alex gets a text from Rocky requesting him to do it for her. He checks about it on the internet and gets confirmed that the tip is correct. The scene shifts to Rocky's house, where she receives a text from Alex, agreeing to go through with the plan. Now, the three of them keep a close watch on the house. During this, Alex notices a new tattoo on Rocky's hand. She opens up about her difficult past, sharing that when her dad left, her mom turned to drink and blamed her for it. She missed her dad terribly, so she cried. In frustration, her mother would lock her in the trunk of the car, sometimes for hours. However, there was a small hole in the trunk, and a ladybug flew in one time, providing her with some company. She reveals her plan to color this tattoo once she reaches California, marking it as the last time she'll alter her body. Alex says if they get this money, he is going away with them. Money returns with information that at least four blocks around the target house are unoccupied, implying a low police presence. However, their plan is interrupted by a barking dog, which startles them. They discover that the dog belongs to Norman, and they also realize that Norman is blind. That night at 2 a.m., they return with the intention of robbing the house. To deal with the dog, Money puts a pill in a piece of meat and tosses it towards the dog, which it consumes. Now they jump the door and go inside to find the side door and find that the dog is asleep. Rocky notices a small window and suggests she can enter through it. Once inside, she uses a device provided by Alex to disarm the alarm. Following this, she opens the door for the others, and all three begin searching the house. Money heads upstairs to Norman's room where he is sleeping. He pours chloroform into a bottle and creates a hole in it, but he notices that Norman is awake and looking at him. Money gets a bit scared of this, but Norman turns off the TV and goes back to sleep. Money then quietly places the bottle down and exits the room. He then goes to others and tells them that the guy is gassed out and is in sleeping mode. They see that there is a big lock on one of the doors and they think that the money is in there. Money tries to break that lock but it does not open. After this, Money takes out a gun, but both Alex and Rocky express their disapproval, with Alex stating that bringing a gun gives Norman the legal right to shoot them. Alex insists they need to leave, but Rocky doesn't listen and Money proceeds to shoot and break the lock. Upset with this, Alex decides to leave, declaring that he's out. Meanwhile, Norman comes downstairs after hearing the gunshot, and to deal with the situation, Money explains that he was wasted and accidentally wandered in, and he's just going to leave. However, Norman notices the broken lock on the floor, and Money, now holding the gun, asserts that he knows what's in there and he won't leave without it. He warns Norman not to take a single step. Despite the warning, Norman starts moving towards him with both his hands up and forward. Unable to comprehend Norman's actions, Rocky fires a shot into the air to intimidate him. He thinks this will scare Norman, but Norman suddenly attacks him and overpowers him and he puts his gun on him. Money, in a desperate plea, begs for his life, but Norman, now in control, interrogates him about the number of intruders. Money claims it's just him and begs to be let go. Norman loosens his grip on him, but then he suddenly shoots him, killing him instantly, and Rocky becomes terrified witnessing this. After some time, Alex comes inside to check where he comes face to face with Norman, but he narrowly avoids him. He sees that Norman has locked the door and then Norman brings a wooden plank to cover the bathroom window. Norman nails it there and then walks away, and Alex gets a text from Rocky that he shot money, and she is hiding in the closet. Norman returns to the room, and Rocky, hiding in the closet, witnesses him open a hidden safe to check his valuables, and she also manages to see the lock code for the safe. After Norman leaves, Alex emerges from the bathroom and joins Rocky in the closet. 
He suggests they call the police before Norman does, but she insists on staying quiet. Rocky uses the code she observed to unlock the safe and starts packing the money into her bag. Alex notices that there are more than 300 grand in the safe, and Rocky suggests they leave. He tells her that the storm cellar door is bolted from the inside, and that could be their way out. Now as they are about to leave from there, suddenly Norman comes there, and both of them are stunned to see him. They watch as Norman takes Money's body away to be disposed of, and then suddenly the floor creaks under Alex's feet, causing Norman to realize that there is someone else in the house. He swings the gun in the air and points it towards Rocky, and out of fear they both stand holding their breath. Norman puts the gun down, but shoots the bag as a phone vibrates. He checks it and throws the phone in, and then he starts dragging Money's body back to dispose of it. Meanwhile, Rocky and Alex go down into the cellar and start looking for a way out. On the other hand, Norman smells something and finds Money's shoes there, but he also finds Rocky's shoes there confirming his suspicion that there is another person in the house. He immediately rushes to check the safe and discovers that his money is gone, which infuriates him. Meanwhile, Alex and Rocky are unable to find the door to exit, and suddenly a girl attacks them, causing a bell to ring, and Norman becomes aware that there is someone in the cellar. Rocky and Alex are surprised to encounter the girl, who pleads for their help. However, Alex insists that they need to leave immediately. As they attempt to exit, the girl shows them a piece of paper. Rocky approaches her and discovers it is a piece of newspaper, realizing that she is the same girl who killed Norman's daughter. Rocky insists that they need to get her out of there, but Alex, concerned about time, suggests they leave and call the police to come back for her. Cindy directs them to a side where they notice a safe. However, their attention is quickly diverted as they realize Norman is rapidly approaching the cellar. Alex asks Rocky for the code and opens the safe, inside which they find a bunch of keys. They try to free Cindy with that key and Rocky says she doesn't care what she did, but she will get her out of here. Now they attempt to flee from there with her and they also find the door to go out but Alex notices that it is locked. Alex uses the keys to open the lock, and as he does, they are confronted by Norman. He shoots Alex, followed by several more bullets, leaving a grim silence, and Rocky realizes that one of the bullets has hit Cindy, and she collapses in front of them. Norman descends the stairs, shooting at Alex and Rocky as they attempt to run and hide. As he moves down, he encounters Cindy's lifeless body, and both Alex and Rocky observe that he is deeply saddened by her death, and overwhelmed with grief and anger, he starts screaming. He then closes the cellar door, and meanwhile, Alex tells Rocky that they will escape through the front door. Now as they start running away from there, Norman turns off the lights of the entire house, and before they can understand anything, Norman starts shooting at them again. Separated in the darkness, Alex accidentally collides with an object, catching Norman's attention. Meanwhile, Rocky unknowingly moves towards Norman in the dark. However, when Alex calls out Rocky's name, Norman fires his gun in that direction and moves towards that side. He suddenly grabs Alex by the throat and puts the gun to his head, but he has run out of bullets. Now Norman tries to kill him by strangling him but Alex turns the shelf on him and manages to escape. Alex finds Rocky, and both of them start looking for a way out. Eventually, they discover a door. However, when they come out, they are stunned to see the dog. Alex instructs Rocky not to run, gives her the keys, and asks her to try opening the door. As Rocky attempts to open the door, Alex keeps the dog's attention on himself, and the dog calms down. Suddenly, Norman starts banging on the door, causing the dog to charge at Alex. Both Rocky and Alex rush upstairs to the bedroom, locking the door with a cupboard. Alex notices that the windows are also blocked, and they realize they are trapped. On the other hand, Norman also comes out of the cellar and retrieves another gun from under his bed. Alex says that by pressing the panic button they can call 911 and summon the police, while Rocky worries about legal consequences. But Alex explains that the situation is a robbery versus kidnapping and murder, so the police will prioritize their presence or motives. Just then, Norman breaks the lock by shooting it, and they notice a vent in the room through which they can escape. Alex attempts to stop Norman from getting inside, and during this struggle, Rocky manages to get into the vet. Soon after, Norman forcefully breaks open the door, and the dog enters the room and attacks Alex, leading to Alex breaking the window and falling out of it, and the glass on which he is lying unconscious starts cracking slowly. Meanwhile, Norman's dog follows Rocky's scent into the vent and starts moving towards her, prompting her to jump down to avoid him, and Norman is distracted by the sound of her falling and moves towards her. As this happens, Alex regains consciousness and starts rolling very carefully to one side. But suddenly, he sees Norman standing at a window, pointing a gun at him. He shoots at him, causing the glass to break and Alex to fall down. 
Alex immediately gets up and attempts to activate the alarm by pressing the panic button on the remote. However, Norman appears in front of him and starts shooting. Alex runs away, finding refuge in the tools room, and then everything becomes quiet. Norman hears Alex's breathing and approaches him to shoot him, but Alex fights back with a hammer, but Norman overpowers him and attempts to kill him. In the struggle, Alex hits Norman on the head with a bottle, causing Norman to throw him away. Norman then attacks Alex with a shovel, and amidst the chaos, he accidentally turns on the washing machine. Alex tries to reach the gun, but Norman turns off the machine, hits Alex, and attempts to kill him by strangulation. As Alex tries to pick up the gun, Norman throws him back, causing the gun to fall away. He then hits Alex on the face, making him fall, and takes the remote from him. After this, he picks up a gardening scissor and kills Alex with it. Meanwhile, Rocky wakes up and finds herself badly injured. To escape, she discovers a vent opening which she breaks open, but suddenly Norman grabs her and pulls her down. Rocky tries to run away, but Norman snatches her back and then strangles her to make her unconscious. Later, when Rocky regains consciousness, she finds herself in the cellar and pleads with Norman to let her go. She explains that she understands Cindy killed his daughter and he wanted her to pay, and she promises not to tell anyone. Norman responds that she understands nothing, emphasizing that only a parent can know the bond between a father and his child. He reveals that Cindy should have gone to prison, but wealthy girls like her don't end up in jail. Rocky argues that none of this will bring her daughter back, to which Norman counters that it's not entirely true. He explains that Cindy took his child away from him, so he thought it was only fair that she give him a new one. Shockingly, he reveals that Cindy was pregnant with his baby, and Rocky inadvertently killed them both. He asserts that they would be alive if they hadn't broken into his home. On the other hand, we see that Norman actually left Alex alive. He comes out with a hammer, and Norman's dog moves to attack him, but as soon as he enters the room, Alex closes the door. Meanwhile, Norman disposes of Cindy's body under the ground. Rocky asks God for help, but Norman says there is no God and asks her to tell him what God would allow this. After this he starts hanging Rocky and says that he is not a rapist and he never forced himself on Cindy. He promised he would set her free just as soon as she gave him a child, but now she is gone, but he is done waiting. After this, he cuts her pants with a scissor and fills his freezing sperms in a tube. He says there is nothing a man cannot do once he accepts the fact that there is no God. Seeing him moving towards her, Rocky gets very scared and starts crying, but he tells her that after nine months, he will give her life back to her. Now he is about to enter his sperms inside Rocky when suddenly Alex attacks him and knocks him unconscious. Rocky gets up angry and starts beating Norman, and she shoves the tube filled with his sperm into his mouth. Alex calms her down, and while he picks up the bag and his remote, Rocky tells Norman that he is going to rot in prison for what he has done. Alex says they can't involve the cops now, because if they steal a million in cash and then lead the cops here, he will tell them about them. Their blood is all over, so they will get to them in a second. Norman says they got what they came for and instructs them to get out of his house. Alex tells Rocky that he is buying their silence by letting them take the money. However, he assures her that whatever she chooses, he is with her. They decide to leave with the money, but as Alex opens the door, Norman shoots and kills him. Rocky manages to get out of the house and tries to run away. After going some distance, she stops, turns, and tells Norman that he is worthless out here. At that moment, Norman's dog comes out of the house, and Rocky tries to escape, and she manages to jump over the fence. After this, she reaches her car through another route but before she can enter the car, the dog pulls her back. Then she sees that the window on the other side is open and the dog tries to enter through it, but after a lot of effort, she manages to close it. Now the dog stands on the hood of her car, and Rocky notices that there is no key in the car, causing her frustration to intensify. Rocky makes a plan to trap the dog in the car and she opens the trunk of the car, and as soon as the dog comes inside the car to pounce on her, she closes the trunk door. But suddenly the dog comes out from behind the seat and tries to pounce on her but she opens the door and jumps out. Now, as she is about to leave, Norman catches her from behind and renders her unconscious. He drags her back into the house and throws her on the floor. In that moment, Rocky notices a ladybug on her thumb and sees the remote in Alex's hand. Norman takes out his gun, but Rocky presses the button, triggering the security alarm. With this distraction, she seizes the opportunity to hide and attack Norman. However, the alarm suddenly goes off. Undeterred, she continues her assault, causing him to fall into the cellar, where he is shot by his own gun, and before the police reach there, Rocky manages to run away from there. We then see Rocky with her sister Diddy at a railway station. 
where she watches the news on the TV about Norman, that he killed two burglars who attacked him. He sustained some injuries, but doctors say he is in stable condition and will be released from the hospital soon and able to return to his home, and no goods were reported stolen by the victim. Rocky and Diddy then depart to board a train to Los Angeles, and the movie ends here. Thanks for joining us on our horror movie recap adventure. If you enjoyed the chills, subscribing would mean a lot. Drop a comment to share your thoughts and keep the terror alive. Stay spooky and see you soon.